Hi, welcome to the walkthrough of RPG Genie. In this walkthrough, we will learn about the Excel activities under the App Integration section. So, for this walkthrough, we will use the crypto.com slash price website. And in this website, uh, it contains the data of um, 50 different cryptocurrencies. So, it has uh, details like name, price, and the market cap. So, what we'll do is first we'll return the window using the get window activity. Then we will extract uh, this whole table. This is in a table format. So, we'll extract it using the extract da uh, data table activity. Uh, then we will perform some tasks on it using the Excel activities. So, first, uh, after we extract the table, we will use the open Excel application. So, we'll create an Excel file for that. Then we'll create a new sheet uh, to that Excel file. Then we'll see uh, how the write range activity works. So this activity is used to write the data uh, that we have extracted from this website. And then we'll write it onto the Excel file. Then we'll see how the write cell activity works. This is to write a particular value to a cell. So we'll see how that works. And then finally, we'll see how the delete range activity works. This is to delete the data that's there in Excel file. So first we'll drag and drop the get window activity. So we're using this activity because uh, each time we run the sequence, we don't want it to open again and again. So since this website is already open, we can use this activity. So we can click on select window here and we'll select the window. Uh, our, our, our window is Chrome top 50 cryptocurrency prices. So select that and on the edit element selector, click OK. Now we can drag and drop the uh, extract data table activity and we'll click on configure now we need to select the element so click on next and select the first element there will be a pop-up and the message is you selected a table cell would you like to extract the data from the whole table click on yes and on the next pop-up build the selector for root element of data source click ok now here there will be another uh, edit element selector click on ok uh, here there's a preview of the data table that was uh, extracted so this contains the same data as the one in the uh, website so here, here you can see it has extracted uh, 50 uh, cryptocurrencies and its details so this is the preview click on finish and the output uh, would be uh, a data table format and it would be assigned to var data which we will then uh, uh, write it into the excel file we'll see how to do that so now we'll move on to the Excel activities. So we'll drag and drop an Excel, open Excel application activity. The open Excel application activity opens an Excel application. Also an Excel workbook variable will be auto-generated. So here uh, in the input section, we need to provide a path uh, for this uh, workbook path field. So before we do that, we'll create a new Excel file and name it test Excel. All right, and here in this uh, field, we can see a small down arrow. We can click on that and select local file explorer and select the uh, Excel file that we created and click on open. Okay, here there is a create new option. So this is a create new file option. So if we check this, uh, if this particular Excel file wasn't created, then during runtime, it will create it as a new file. So in our case, we don't need to check it because we already created it. Uh, but we will check the autosave feature uh, since we want the Excel file to be, uh, we want the Excel file to automatically save each time. So, okay, and the output uh, will be, um, here the output will be in a workbook window format and it will be assigned to uh, the variable var workbook uh, window. So this is the output and it will be used as input in the upcoming Excel activities. So uh, we'll see how, how that works, this variable. So next our task is to uh, create a new sheet for this Excel uh, file. So we want to create a new sheet. Now for that we have an activity called set active sheet. All right. So the set active sheet uh, specifies or creates a new sheet in an Excel spreadsheet that you want to work on. Now uh, here, as you can see uh, the, in the input section, the workbook uh, is var workbook window. This has been generated automatically. Now this is the input. This variable is the output from the previous activity open Excel application. 
here since this is the excel file that we want to work on uh, we this is the, in, the the output for this uh, activity var workbook window will be used as the input for the upcoming excel activities since um, all the activities will be worked on the same excel file this is the uh, this is used as the reference all right so here um, we'll create a new sheet name so we'll give a name test sheet and we'll check the create new option uh, if we already had a sheet name uh, test sheet then we don't need to check this box we can just uh, provide the sheet name and then uh, uh, drag and drop activities excel activities under it but since it's not there uh, it will create it once it run once we run the sequence all right so we'll click on save and now next we'll drag and drop the right range activity the right range activity writes the data from a data table variable into a specific range of cells in an excel workbook all the cells within the specified uh, range will be overwritten all right so here again uh, in the input field the workbook uh, it's var workbook window now the range we need to specify so if we know the range uh, we can give it like this uh, a1 suppose the range was from a1 to d8 then we'll have to type in a1 to d8 but here since we don't know how much uh, cells it would take up uh, we can just specify a1 and then it will just start from a1 and fill in the remaining cells so here i'm only going to give a1 so it'll start from a1 that's it. Uh, and the data is the output from this uh, activity var data this data table that is our data over here so type in var data and we'll include the headers the headers is the name of the columns like name price and market cap and everything all right so we click on save all and we will drag and drop the right cell activity the right cell activity writes a value into a specified cell or range in the excel workbook now suppose say we want to uh, uh, write a value in the j7 cell so suppose i want to uh, write a value in this cell saying hello world so what i'll do is i'll type in j7 here and the value i'll give it as hello world all right now we will drag and drop the close workbook activity close workbook back, uh, workbook activity closes and open excel workbook now we'll click on save all and see how these activities work together so all right so we'll run the sequence all right now let's uh, open the excel file okay here we can see first what it did is it returned the window using the get window activity then it extracted the uh, data table this extracted this table then it opened this file that we created uh, it created next it created a new sheet called test sheet after that it uh, it wrote the data that it extracted uh, from here so as you can see in this excel file it wrote the whole data table to uh, this file then lastly it um, wrote hello world in j7 cell you can see in the j7 cell it is written hello world all right so now uh, we will uh, drag and drop one more activity we'll see how the delete range activity works so before the close workbook activity we'll drag and drop the delete range activity here uh, the delete range activity deletes a specified range of cells in an excel workbook it's also used to shift an entire uh, row or column using shift options so here uh, we need to specify the range it will delete this uh, 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 data in an excel file so here we can provide the range now our range is it starts from a1 to we can give j51 so a1 to j51 and we don't have any uh, columns or rows to shift so we'll go then then shift now uh, click on save all i'll delete everything in this uh, excel file 
I'll save. So let's run the sequence again. Okay, let's just open the Excel file. Here you can see uh, after writing it, it has finally deleted it. So it executed all these activities. And after the write cell, it deleted everything uh, from A1 to J51. Uh, so that is why when this new sheet called test sheet, there is nothing uh, there. It has deleted all the data. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.